Ironheart, I have been waiting for much time. Please, watch me. Watch what, Petra? Whoa, take careful with that spear. How did you find that? I did more training. Ah, you took my advice then. I will say the problematic maneuver seems improved at least. At least? What? It's still no good? The spear isn't really my area of expertise. What? But I've seen enough training to understand the mechanics. What? Sorry, my internet had a weird... I don't... I can't... The... Oh, okay, now the game's back. Oh, did Parsec, like, die for a second? Yeah. But it's back now? You're good? Yeah, it's, it's all back. It seems back now, yeah. All right, did you not see any of this? Yeah, some of... Yeah, it was right around the... Uh, I saw some of it. It was the... Oh, careful with the spear. How did you find that? It's hey, careful training. with the spear. Yeah, just read it. There you go. I took my advice then. At least it's still no good. The spears are my Yeah, okay. There we go. I believe I can use that understanding to further help you improve your spear work. My spear work? Right. As I said, when you lift up and stab down, the momentum is ruined. You're trying to swing like a giant. You're not a giant, so that's a problem. So allow the spear's own momentum to do more of the hard work for you. Spear momentum. The spear is heavy. When you lift it up high, loosen your grip a little. At the top of my swing, loosen my grip. And then the weight will carry it down? Precisely. When you put too much power into it, not only do you exhaust your grip, you tire yourself out. Got it? <sighs> Ugh, all that effort is taking its toll on me. You are very clever. I wonder why you have hatred for training. Because training is too much like fighting, and I'd really rather not fight. Also, I find training terribly dull. Anyway, good night. He does not use his cleverness. It is a very big waste. I want you to use your power, Linhart. Yay! Who now? Dorothea! Hubert or Bernie? Bernadetta! <sighs> it's peaceful here. Flowers are so calming. Just looking at these, it's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. What's Bern doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Fern, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea! Did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Fern, who have you got a crush on? Seriously now, you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn. Um, no. I was actually thinking about being friends with you. Me? I thought we already were friends. That's not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be closer, but old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please, just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... <laughs> no! Wait, I... Father? What did she mean by that? Oh, Bernadetta and her ability to run. Yep. Running from your problems won't solve them, Bernadetta. Ooh, well, Edelgard! Maybe she's just not running fast enough yet. Linhart or Bernie? Bernadetta! Bernadetta, why are you following me? <laughs> um... You were following me quite conspicuously, so why attempt to hide now? I... um... Um... Please don't hurt me! Calm yourself. I have no reason to harm you. Forgive me! I beg you! I'll go straight back to my room and you'll never see me again! I swear! Bernadetta, 
Yes, Lady Edelgard! Please explain why you were following me and why you tried to hide. Is Her Highness saying she will not condemn me? Please, speak like the human that you are. I already said no harm will come to you. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Um, permit me to explain. Lady Edelgard, you are fearless. I look up to you as an example to follow. And that explains it. How? I decided to watch you from a distance, to learn from you. But your presence is, um, intimidating. I'm more and more scared until I finally couldn't help but try to hide! Uh, forgive me! I threw myself upon your mercy! Honestly, look, nobody is truly fearless. Even I have things that I'm afraid of. What? You do? You seem oddly overjoyed at the thought. <laughs> no, of course not! But, um, what in the world could possibly frighten you? The sea. I find the pitch black of the open sea at night quite frightening. I can't swim, so if the sea were to wash me away, I fear I would never return. The sea? I think I may have seen it once. Maybe. I didn't know you couldn't swim. That's a surprise. Again, my shortcomings delight you. Everyone has fears as well as things they can't do. How many times must I tell you? <laughs> I really did make you angry! Poor Bernadetta. It's not oh, her day. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let's do... Petra. Wait, did we already do a Petra? Yes. We did a Petra <laughs> one. Okay, Ferdinand. Oh my goodness. This is where all of the supports are coming from. Uh, He's already a B, bar. Bernadetta. Oh, it's because they're um, doing the weekend thing together. I should stop them from both doing that. That settles that. And don't even think about brawling around here again. Impressive, Caspar. Well done. Hey, Ferdinand, did you see that fight? I saw it from start to finish. Both parties were at fault, disturbing the peace. Then you stepped in and corrected their behavior. You are setting a good example. I am proud to call you my fellow noble. Your fellow noble? I wasn't even thinking about nobility. That had nothing to do with it. Excuse me, nothing? Resolving conflicts among common folk is a duty of the nobles. Is that not what you were doing? I guess so. But it was more like instinct or something. I saw people acting out of line and I had to step in. Ah, you were acting on impulse. You might be better served following moral convictions rather than instincts. Take me, for example. I always bear in mind that I am a noble and behave accordingly. The fortunate must help the unfortunate. That is my guiding principle. I never have any idea what you're talking about. If someone's in trouble, you gotta help them out. Simple as that. Hmm. A difference of opinion, you might say. Very well, then. Believe what you will. I will not expend energy trying to change your mind. Maybe all of this noble stuff just isn't for me. Th hey! Don't walk away when I'm talking to you! I see why you struggle with authority, Caspar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many more do we- what, you have Bernadetta- you- you have a double C rank with Bernadetta? Interesting. Bernadetta, Dorothea, Linhart, Ferdinand- yeah, Ferdinand has like four. Alright. Yep. Let's see. We will chug through more of them soon, but we should go do a battle. Am I gonna double battle this month? I might. But also, another explore would be pretty sick. Hold up. Group tasks. Is there anyone that needs flying other than Petra? Constance can be on a magic bird. Magic bird! Sure, we'll do that for now. That's fine. Bow, bow. You know what we probably should do, actually, is figure out if there's any specific classes that you would like to see. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I don't know all the classes, and I don't know the, all the optimal stuff. So I'm, I'm aware. Hard. We're not here to do anything optimal. I might stop you from doing something, like, ridiculous, but... <laughs> Wait, what's the first thing she's riding on? What's the first thing she's riding on? Yeah, what? what's that? Oh, is that a pegasus? Yeah, that's a bird. It's a pegasus. Oh, okay. I always call it a bird. Pegasus, wyvern, and then normal horse. Those are the only things you can ride on. This what's is a the, this the, is a dark pegasus. Other, is that a unicorn? No, no unicorns. Aw. 
it's just horses, Pegasus. Oh, okay, that's a blessed knight. Okay. And then Wyvern. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of pull on a wyvern. <laughs> so we have you're mostly looking at either special classes or master classes is where you usually want characters to end up as most of the time. Pegasus knights and Gremories are women only. And I think Dark Flyer is woman only, and then this is a woman punching class, which is woman only, but the men have a master class for punching, which you can't what see here because it's a male class. Yeah, so I've heard that Edelgard's, like, she gets a special one because she's the... Yes, of... all of the lords and Byleth have unique classes when they hit time skip. Mm -hmm. Edelgard's is an armored axe unit. Which is famous, famously, like, not good for her stat-wise. People complain about it a lot because her unique class is the worst of all of them. I think Dimitri's unique class is also not, like, the best class for him. I think Claude is the only one whose unique class is, like, really good. But, like, the thing is, is, like, people say that it's not as good as other ones, but you can still use it. Like, we'll get through the game just fine regardless. Okay. Uh, so we can use Edelgard's unique class when she gets it. We could give her something else if we want. I wasn't opening Edelgard to make you pick for Edelgard right there, by the way. I was opening Edelgard to show you the classes because it was the fastest way I knew how to get to them. Ah, uh, okay. And then men have War Master. Mm -hmm. Special classes, there's Holy Monk, which is just uh, a, like a magic punch class, kind of. And then this is Trickster, which is some magic and swords. Okay. That was Yuri's. The special classes are the DLC classes. So Yuri's special class that like he started with was Trickster. And then Balthus had War Monk. And then... Can I like... No, I can't like switch. And then the girls had... Constance had Dark Flyer, which is Flying Dark Unit. And then Happy has a Black Magic Horse. Oh, cool. But anyways, is there any character that you think you might want to try and give them something special that stands out to you? Uh... Chad says the Falcon Knight Pegasi have horns. I don't play enough to remember what horses have. Let me be more clear. I don't pay enough attention to the head of the horse to know which ones have horns or not, but <laughs> Chat says that Falcon Knights have horns. Oh, cool. Which makes uh them like an alicorn or whatever it is. It's hard to say, like I said, I just don't know what each one does, and I don't know for sure what everybody normally trends towards. But, yeah, well, I mean, I can I mean, walk you through that. Edelgard, of course, trends towards her uh, her unique class because it's her only, it's her class specific. So, axe heavy armor, but she's like really mistyped in the game. Like the devs did it bad, mm -hmm. so people mix her up a lot. Um, and you you can make anyone anything. We can make anything work. At the end of the day, the only thing you don't really want to do is like like take a mage and try and hard force them into being a physical unit stuff like that yeah. like that's the kind of stuff you do for like joke challenge runs which isn't what i'm looking to do in this playthrough yeah hubert, no, i don't want to do that anyway hubert magic he shoots magic magic class usually the damaging magic class ferdinand normally is like a dark or a holy knight so he's like on a horse with lances linhart magic class usually a healing one caspar normally i think Normally either War Master for punching, or I think some people run him on, like, Wyvern, or just, uh, War Master but with Axe. So, Axe or Punch Unit. Uh, Bernadetta on horse with bow. Dorothea, Gremory, which is the strongest magic class that only women get, so she's normally a Gremory. Uh, okay. Petra, I think, normally would become, uh, an Assassin, or, th like, whatever the highest level Thief is, something like that. I usually put her on a Pegasus, which is what we're currently doing. Yay! Um, Yuri, Trickster, because that's his special class that was included with DLC. Balthus, War Monk, because it's special class with the DLC, but he can also do War yep. Master. Constance, normally on the Dark Pegasus flying thing, because it's her whatever. And then Happy is, uh, the Dark Magic Horse class that was also unique for whatever. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, Edelgard does have, uh, budding talent and reason, which is, like, Dark Magic, but her unique class doesn't let her use magic, which is another reason people say that her unique class... It was not done right. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, it would be cool to see 
I mean, is it hard for her to use magic, or is it... For Edelgard to use magic? If we just make yeah. her offensive, no, not really. Oh, okay. I mean, she has a budding talent in it, so that'll make it easier. Um, What class would I make Edelgard if I wanted her to run magic and attack? I think the main thing would be is do we want her to keep an axe or not? Because she does get Amir. Is that a special axe? Yes, it's her unique axe. It's like a hero's relic, but not exactly. So I think we would do Dark Knight? Or the other option, if you don't have her... If you want her to use Dark Magic, but not an axe, I think is Mortal Savant? Can you actually... Aww. Chad, can you do Mortal Savant with an axe? Is that allowed? Aww. I don't think you can. Because she looks so cool with an axe. She is very cool with an axe. But also magic. But also magic. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah, we don't have to worry about the dancer thing, chat. I already know who we're going to do dancer in this playthrough. You can use any weapon in any class. You can't? I always forget that about this. I mean, Except for on a dark fists on really cool. But also the dragon. Dang it. There's so <laughs> many guys. You can't do the dragon in magic. Okay, no. I think if you want magic on a horse, I don't know. I think you're I mean, just magic if you're on the special one. I think Dark Knight uh, lets you axe and magic, and then chat says you can use an axe as Mortal Savant. Okay. Well, either of those two sound good. Okay, so basically what I've learned is that I need to start doing magic for Edelgard. So let's go to goals. We'll keep you on Axe and do Reason. And if we do Mortal Savant, I'm going to need to teach you some sword down the road, but we don't need to worry about it right now. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll run that for now. Um, Anyone other than Edelgard tickle your fancy? Um, I don't have anything specific that comes to mind for, like, Burdetta makes sense for bow and arrow. Caspar makes sense for punching things. Punch. Falcon. Punch. And Dorothea being the Gremory makes sense. Uh, I don't have anything super special that comes to mind. All right. All... We have more characters to recruit anyway. Yeah. Uh, and maybe something will pop up when I'll be like, oh, maybe this person should be this thing. But yeah, it'll guard getting magic and axe sounds cool. So, and also possibly horse. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done Edelgard in a class that isn't her default one, so this will be interesting. Oh, so I want to train right now. Bernadetta has not been getting any authority? What the heck? That's not okay. You gotta get authority, girl! Man, he punches so hard. Are you still set to learning punching on your goals? You're already a beast. You don't really need to right now. Yeah, I'm gonna honestly just put you strictly on authority for a little bit to get you up to C rank faster. Um, da 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 da. Try and get Caspar. My my never-ending uphill batter, battle words. I can't talk today. Batter. I'm trying to get Caspar to a decent amount of authority. Same problem I'm going to have when we recruit Felix. 